Flipping over to the third page, we're asked to determine the primary trig ratios of 180 degrees. Now, 180 degrees would be this rotation all the way around to here. And the, the triangle is infinitely small over here. Uh, it's difficult to see the triangle. Remember that this would actually be the point over here, negative 1, comma 0. And so the adjacent side is negative 1. The height here, there is no height at all, so the opposite side would be 0. And then the length of the hypotenuse here would be 1. So that's the hypotenuse. This negative 1 is the adjacent side. And the 0 is the opposite side. Because the triangle has, has no height at all, that's why the opposite side is 0. So the sine of the end, remember sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So the uh, opposite side is 0, the hypotenuse is 1. So 0 divided by 1, of course, is 0. So the sine of 180 degrees is 0. The cosine of 180 degrees, remember cosine is adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So it would be negative 1 divided by 1, which, of course, is uh, negative 1. And the tan is the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. So 0 divided by negative 1, of course, is zero. So the tan of 180 degrees is zero. Now in example four, we're asked to determine, there's some more examples in the next page, uh, all the values of theta on zero to 360. And I have an, um, a diagram here. Uh, we've investigated a bit the uh, different trig ratios and their signs. And this example is a three and on the last page a bit as well. Uh, what these four letters stand for, and this is called the CAST rule, C-A-S-T. Uh, all the trig ratios, that's what the A stands for, are positive in the first quadrant. Sine is the only trig ratio positive in the second quadrant. Cosine is the only trig ratio positive in the fourth quadrant. And tan is the only trig ratio positive in quadrant three. Okay, So those stand for the... Uh, which they tell you which trig ratios are positive in each of the quadrants. And of course, if it's not positive in the quadrant, then it has to be negative. So for example, you don't see a C here. Sine's the only one positive here, so cosine would be negative in the second quadrant. Now, so determine all the values of the theta on 0 to 360 for which the cosine is negative 0.2638. So we can take our calculator and evaluate the invert, remember, inverse cos to find what the angle is and punch that in your calculator and you should get the angle is about 106 degrees. So on the diagram, I'm going to draw that. So 106 degrees would be this revolution here. So from here all the way up to there. Now, if that's 106 degrees, then this angle over here would have to be 74. And now notice we have the cosine here. Okay. We're looking for where cosine is a negative value. Notice the calculator gave us an answer in the second quadrant because cosine is negative in the second quadrant. Okay, So this angle up here. Now there should also be an angle uh, that's negative for cosine in the third quadrant too. And that's why I put the 74 degree angle here. If you flip that straight down here, so I'm taking this radius here and I'm flipping it down the x-axis. Then the angle, the other angle that has a cosine that's negative 0.2638 would be the rotation all the way around to here. If you take the point that we found, that's 106 degrees around to there, and flip that in the x-axis, you'll get another angle whose cosine is negative 0.2638. And so the way we could find that angle is it would be 180 plus another 74. So the second angle, whose cosine is negative 0.2638, is about 254 degrees. And you can verify that with the calculator if you want, that the uh, cosine of that angle is pretty close to negative 0.2638. So we list two solutions. The calculator gives us 106 degrees, and we can calculate the second angle would be 254 degrees. And again, I did that by taking these 106 and reflecting it down here to get my last angle. Okay, two more examples in the fourth page. In B here, we're asked to find uh, the angle whose tan is 2.7509. And so the first part's the calculator exercise. We would take the inverse tan of 2.7509, and the calculator would tell us that the angle is about 70 degrees. So what that looks like in the diagram, I drew that up there, 
And so this is my 70 degree, ang 70 degree angle. The rotation is up to about there. Now, notice that that answer is in the all quadrant. Okay, And notice the tan is positive here. So we're looking for the other angle that the tan is positive 2.75 over 0 0.9. And so the way we get that angle is we uh, notice that there's a t down here in the third quadrant. We take that point and we reflect it in the origin straight across here or flip it down here. And so in order to f what I need to now do now is find out how big that whole angle is to there. And so that's the rotation that I'm talking about around to there. So what I would do to find that angle is I would take this is 180 to there and then plus another 70. So that gives me an angle of about 250 degrees. So that's the rotation all the way around to that point. So two angles whose tan is 2.7509, 70 degrees and 250 degrees. Okay, one last question here in C. We're given that the cosecant of some angle is 2 over root 2. Now I would change this into one of the primary trig ratios and the reciprocal of cosecant is sine. So the sine of the angle would be root 2 over 2. Remember it's reciprocal. Now if we find the angle, the inverse sine of root 2 over 2, your calculator will tell you it's 45 degrees, which of course is this angle revolving around here. So that's 45 degrees. Now we're looking for where else the cosecant, or the sine in this case, is positive. See, sine is positive in this quadrant as well. So what I would, I would do is take that and reflect it in the y-axis straight over here, and then I can find my other angle. So reflecting that line right over here like this. Now if that's 45 degrees, then this is 45 degrees. And so 45 degrees is one solution. The other answer would be if I re revolve all the way around to that point. And that is another angle whose sine is positive root 2 over 2. So this is the rotation I'm talking about around to there. And so we would take 180 and subtract 45, and that gives us 135 degrees. So the sine of 135 degrees is root 2 over 2, or the cosecant, of course, of 135 degrees is 2 over root 2. So two solutions here, 45 degrees and 135 degrees. And that's the end of the lesson.